this patient uh, with a prolapsed intervertebral disc at L5 S1 level, pain radiating down the right lower limb, particularly in the S1 dermatome, shows a list on the left with the convexity towards the right. He feels much more comfortable when he is tilting his body on the left side, which is typically a list to the left with the convexity towards the right. Now, as the patient straightens out himself and the convexity straightens out, he complains of pain radiating down the right lower limb as the convexity is getting straightened out, which indicate that the disc is right at the shoulder level. Demonstration of the passive straight leg raising test. The patient has been counseled and advised to tell us about the pain when I am raising the leg passively to raise his hand up when he experiences the pain. And I have also advised him that he will not raise the limb himself, but it will be raised by me. That is classically a passive raise of the limb by the examiner. I raise the limb right from 0 degree up he has raised his hand which indicates that he has pain and the examiner also look at the face of the patient. I bring the limb down and flex the ankle, the patient experiences pain and that is a positive Lassigui test. I bring the limb down again to the couch, then I raise the limb with the hip flexion to roughly around 70 degree and then I extend the knee and the patient experiences pain and that is what is positive bowstring test. Ex while examining the power in the flexor hallucis longus, I asked the patient to flex his interphalangeal joint against resistance if you see on the normal side, he is able to do it while on the affected side, he hardly applies any force. This demonstrates that his flexor hallucis is weak. At the same time, we also test for extensor hallucis longus, which is an important test in these patients. You ask the patient to extend his or dorsiflex the greater toe and apply force to see whether he has the same strength or not. You see, he shows the same strength on either side, which indicates that extensor hallucis longus is normal as compared to the other side. Femoral stress test is an integral part of the stretch test in the armamentarium for examination of the prolapsed intervertebral disc in the lumbar region. At times you may have higher, prola higher prolapse in L2, L3 segment of the intervertebral disc. To perform the femoral test, we flex the knee joint 
to roughly around 90 degree and hold the limb and do extension of the hip joint. If patient winces or is uncomfortable and tells us the radiation of the pain down to the knee, it indicates the femoral test being positive.